check this out. This is the new Savage Gear Duratec Crabs. These guys look really realistic. This is the best saltwater soft plastic of iCast 2021, and for good reason. These things look really sweet. But as we know as anglers, it's not always about the looks. We gotta find out how do these guys perform. And that's what we're gonna break down for you guys in this review. We're gonna talk about the new Savage Gear Duratec Crabs, all the features packed into these guys, what they're made out of, how they're rigged, how they perform underwater. We have some awesome underwater footage for you guys to check out as well. And we're gonna compare them next to some other soft plastic crabs on the market. So right off the bat, just looking at these crabs at face value, they look super realistic. <laughs> and that's what Savage Gear is known for. They make awesome products that look just like the spinning image of, uh, of what all these predators are targeting. We added two color options, the uh, blue crab, obviously, and this green crab model, because it looks just like a fiddler or any other rock crab you'd find around a set of jetties over on the coast. And as for specs, these new Duratec crabs, we added the three quarter inch size because this is the smallest soft plastic crab on the market to date. So if you plan on targeting sheep's head, this is gonna be your best bet because it's gonna be the smallest offering available and sheep's head have really tiny mouths. So this is already a plus in that regard. They come in an eighth of an ounce, which may seem a little light, but because the appendages on these crabs don't really stick out that far, they don't cause a lot of draft on the sink. So they sink to the water column very quickly. And that's what you want. When you're fishing tight to structure for sheep's head, you want to be able to maintain vertical presentation and get down to the bottom quicker. So you can fish in a little bit deeper water and with a little bit of current as well. Now, as for material and rigging, these crabs are made out of what Savage Gear calls their Duratec material. It allows them to maintain this hyper-realistic look and be able to move naturally in the water, but uh, it's, it's a plastic that's not like a standard traditional plastisol type of soft plastic. So yes, these appendages are very stretchy and the material is very durable. It's not gonna tear very easily. Um, ultimately a pinfish or a puffer fish would probably chop off these appendages. But in terms of going for sheep's head and black drum, your target species, this type of lure should last a while. It should last you several fish with no issues. And as for rigging, they are pre-rigged. So this hook, which I think is a number four size hook, we need to double check, but that is a very, very tiny hook. It is pre-mounted underneath here. Wow, look at the attention to detail. It kind of looks like, like an egg sac almost. Uh, that is the actual weight of the lure underneath here. And this is pretty much molded or mounted to the hook on the top side. So you don't have to worry about rigging. They're pretty much ready to fish fresh out of the package. And the way that they're designed with this weight style, they sink level. They're, they're, they're centrally weighted, so they're not gonna sink you know, tail down or nose down or spiral. They're gonna sink very level on the descend, and that is exactly what you want in terms of presentation. So there's two quick things that I want to address on these new Duratec crabs, at least for the three quarter inch size. And the first is that gap between the hook and the soft plastic itself is very, very small. It's a very small area for that hook to penetrate and stay connected to a fish. These do these soft plastic bodies, they do kind of compress a little bit and allow for you know a better penetration. And they're very stout. This is a 3X strong hook, so I'm not worried about the hook straightening out at all. I, I'm just concerned about staying connected to fish. So if you're targeting sheephead, these three quarter inch size are perfect because naturally you're gonna wanna stay tight anyways when going for sheephead. You don't wanna have any slack. So when targeting smaller mouthed fish like sheephead, I don't think there's gonna be as much of a concern. But if you're gonna go for say redfish or black drum on the flats, a much bigger predator with a bigger mouth, there might be concerns about keeping this hook connected to those type of fish during the entire fight. In that regard, jumping up to the one inch size would probably solve that issue because that gap on the one inch size is likely gonna be larger in distance between the plastic of the body and the top of the hook. The other thing to consider is how these guys compare to their competition. So on my left is the Chase Baits Krusty Crab, very popular lure, and uh, you can see right off the bat that even though that's Chase Baits' smallest crab, it's one inch in diameter across. These are three quarters of an inch. Plus, the appendages are, are a lot more, I don't know, if you, I guess you'd say wild. They're going to put off a lot more under the water. They're going to undulate more than the Savage Gear Duratec crabs in the three-quarter inch. But again, different strokes for different folks. Because of the longer appendages on the chase baits, 
it's going to sink through the water slower because this is going to create draft. So these are really tight knit. So if you're fishing close to structure, like, like a piling, uh, this is going to sink much faster and you're going to make contact with bottom. So you're going to make, you're, you're going to want to fish this in a little bit deeper water. And if there's any sort of current and these guys would probably put off a little more action if you're fishing shallower and there isn't as much current. Also, these guys are probably better suited for the flats because these longer appendages will just create that much more action under the water. Now, again, you could probably mitigate this with the Duratec crabs jumping up to the one inch size, but between the two, you really can't argue with the fact that these are the smallest crabs on the market. So they are prime for using for sheep's head. So guys, that should cover all the bases here for you on the Savage Gear Duratec crab in the three quarter inch eighth ounce size. If you want to pick yourself up a pack of either of these two colors, we have both of them available at our online tackle shop, fishstrong.com. And if you're one of our insider members, you guys know that you can earn awesome discounts on these lures and so many other things that an inshore angler needs. And if you've used a soft plastic crab before, whether it's by Savage Gear with their 3D crab models, or say even the Chase Baits Krusty Crab, this is an old one that I've had for quite some time, let us know. Let us know what your experience is, if you've done well with these types of lures, when you like to use them, and uh, any comments down below. We love sharing and helping anglers be more successful on the water. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club for inshore anglers, teaching you how to catch more redfish, sea trout, snook, flounder, and a whole bunch of other species. We guarantee that you're going to catch more fish while saving time and money. We do this with our premium education, an exclusive insider fishing community, and huge discounts on all the tackle and inshore angler needs. So to learn more, head over to saltstrong.com, and we'll see you in the insider family soon.